Hello, my name is Youssef, and today I'm happy to introduce Databricks Predictive Optimizations. This feature removes the need to manually manage maintenance operations for Delta tables on Databricks. Once this feature is enabled, Databricks identifies automatically the tables that would benefit from maintenance operations and run them for the user. And of course, this operation is only run when it's necessary and the purpose is to remove the burden associated with tracking and troubleshooting the performance and of course, to avoid running unnecessary op maintenance operations. So far, it's managed two operations. We have the vacuuming and the purpose of the vacuuming is to reduce storage costs by deleting data that no longer referenced by Delta tables and then the optimize. And the purpose is to improve query by optimizing file sizes, by compacting them, and of course, capturing uh, statistics. And in order to enable predictive optimizations, you need to have some specific permissions. So you need to be, first of all, account admin. And then for each catalog and schema, you need to be either the catalog owner or the schema owner. And how would I enable this predictive optimization? So first, Let's open the uh, Databricks platform, go to catalog, click over here, and then enable predictive optimizations. And when it's, once it's done, then you can go and enable uh, uh, these predictive optimizations for a specific catalog or for a specific schema. So over here, what I did, I use this SQL query, alter catalog, and my catalog is Football UK, and then I will enable predictive optimization. And to make sure that it's enabled, you can use the describe catalog extended, and you will see here, predictive optimization is enabled. And of course, there is something interesting over here. The predictive optimizations work with inheritance, which means if I enable it at the catalog level, it will be automatically activated for the schema and the table level. So. What you can do, for example, you can enable it at the catalog level to enable it for all the schemas. And then, for example, you can just disable it for one in case you have 10 schemas and only one where you don't want to enable this predictive optimization. And how you can achieve this, you can just, you know, alter schema mid-season for my case and disable predictive optimization. And I can show you with describe schema extended. The predictive optimization is disabled. And I have another schema in this catalog called All Seasons. I will run Describe Schema Excellent, and then you will see Predictive Optimization is enabled. And it shows that it has been inherited from uh, Catalog Football UK. And there is something I need to mention, of course. When I did tell you that uh, you, these Predictive Optimizations run two operations, the Optimize and the Vacuuming. And the Vacuuming is very, very unique to, uh, to pay attention to this operation. The retention uh, window for the vacuum command is determined by the delta uh, deleted file retention duration, which is a delta table property, which is set to seven days by default. That's why in case you wanna keep those files longer, you need to make sure to modify or update uh, those properties at a table level. And you can just run this alter uh, table mid season games clean and set table properties, which is delta table, uh, delta, 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 the deleted file retention duration equal to 20 days. And now you're gonna be sure that those uh, snapshots will still be there for at least 20 days. And that's not everything. Of course, I did mention that uh, Databricks will run those operations and you can track every single operation that did happen. And how you can do this, you just need to make sure to go to a catalog called uh, in system tables. And there is, uh, there is a catalog called system tables and then a schema called storage. And then you can run a query. And as you can see over here, I did run a query call and uh, in order to capture all the vacuumed uh, tables, of course, just list uh, the, the first five ones. So we can see the workspace, uh, the start time, the uh, the end time, the name of the meta store, the catalog name, the schema, the table name, the operation, whether it was successful or a failure, and the cost. And you can see that this, this vacuuming costs 0.2 uh, GPUs. And then you can also have additional statistics like 
number of files deleted and amount of data deleted, which means you can, for example, at the end of the year, um, uh, sum all this data to see how many uh, how many storage did you uh, let's say uh, save by running this uh, by having this operations run for you and same thing will happen for the optimize so uh, I did run the operation types equal to compaction you will have the same information like the start time the end time the meta store name the exact same information the only thing that will change would be of course, the uh, operation metrics. And over here, again, you will see the number of uh, output files and the number of compacted files and other statistics like the size of uh, this file. And of course, the uh, usage uh, quantity required to optimize uh, this specific table. And in case you don't have those, those tables, you can always run this, uh, this specific uh, notebook that will go and enable system tables for you just make sure to be an account uh, admin it will automatically get the metastore uh, the metastore id it will get a token for you and then it will run uh, several uh, apis call to enable the uh, different schemas so you have storage you have uh, billing access op operational data compute marketplace lineage and and storage as i did uh, mention Thank you for watching this video.